Which is right? Kerbal Space Program itself or Mechjeb? We'll we'll approach as quick carefully as possible. Obviously, if we go full tilt, it's gonna go crazy on us. But we do have 12 days, so I do have to go a little bit quickly. Uh oh. Ah, come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You should have actually halted me a little bit earlier than that. Okay, what's our orientation? Ah. Okay, um. It was advanced reference sun. Is that right? Oh, uh, we need RCS. Check out how much UDMH N204 we have left in the sun. Oh, plenty, plenty. Okay, now that's a little bit better. Okay, sun up. Very good. Alright, that looks fine. Add an extra day to our orbital period, but that's okay. Well, our little Kerbal has certainly gone farther than any Kerbal has gone before in this series. I believe. And it's been a long time. I don't quite remember, but I think so. And certainly farther than any human has gone before. Okay, here we go. Ah, oh, nuts. Oh no, wait, 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 wait. Oh, it decided we are in this. Oh, I want to bet that that escape is probably not really there either. I think Mechjeb won. Now, we're not quite in a one-year orbit, but I don't have enough to uh, try and risk getting, putting a uh, Harden, was, was Harden, right? Yeah, Harden. Harden in jeopardy like that. We need to pull this in. Uh oh. Oh no, Harden just reported that the system has decided that that he's in heliocentric orbit. This is a problem. Okay, uh, we need to rendezvous with with Earth again. Set Earth as a target. Hmm. Rather than me flailing about, let's see what Mechjeb has to say. Can uh, can you plot a maneuver? Advance transfer to another planet. No, this. If it does a Holman transfer with the phases of these two orbits so tight, it's well actually that'd be a very interesting situation. Um, Holman transfer to target. Ah, oh, that's not as bad as I thought it would be. But that doesn't look like much of a Holman transfer. Not at all. No, uh, when orbits are very close like this, it tends to be like, you know, dozens to hundreds of years before you can get a Holman transfer point. So, how about uh, advanced transfer to another planet, poor chop selection. Yeah, we've got a target. I get the strange feeling that it doesn't like this. Yeah, probably. Of course not. Okay, uh, there's probably some tool in there somewhere that uh, will let me do it, but I think I'm going to have to rely on my own devices. So hold on a sec, I'll try and plot a return for, for a poor little Kerbal here. Okay, we've got a return to an aerobraking altitude, 56 kilometers in 19 days if we do a 774 meter per second burn. I think that's that's pretty decent, though I get the strange feeling that the game is is just poised to rip my head off for doing something insanely stupid like this. Uh, so I'm gonna have to be watching out for that, but let's let's turn for this. So the answer is, I think we can say that that you'll have the illusion of a one-year orbit, but I don't think the game will let you keep it. So that's my conclusion right now. I think uh, I want to focus on getting Harden back now. 
pretty successful test of the spacecraft though. No uh, engine glitches, no, no weird stuff going on. So far with the Bobcat engines, I only ever had problems with the RD... Uh, is it RD? Uh, yeah, RD0146. So... I don't know why I have problem with that engine, but I do. Okay. What the heck just happened? Whoa. Uh, we are still we are still in such a tenuous position with respect to Earth slash Kerbin. Uh, we've got all sorts of uh it's going to mess with us, I think. Okay, we're about ready. Fuel flow is still very stable. That's good. Alright, Harden, watch out. This is going to pack quite a wallop. How much Delta V do we have left in this stage? Uh, just, uh, just shy of what we need, actually. So we'll burn out this stage. No, that can't be right. The thrust to weight ratio is much higher. I guess it must be in relation to the sun. Oh, well that's confusing. Don't do that, uh, MacJeb. Don't don't uh, give me the thrust to weight ratio in relation to the body I'm orbiting. Uh, I just want it in good old fashioned G's actually. Uh, it's uh, more consistent that way. Okay. Yeah, this thing has got quite a punch. We're all stable. All right. Oh, we. Oh, we don't have T-tab. I only ignited it twice. Why don't I have any T-tab? Okay, well, um, cancel that theory. I want to move what uh, UDMH and N204 we have up to the. Up oh, it hasn't been using that one. Oh. I wonder where I did the second relight, uh, third relight. Maybe I just can't count. Okay, so that that's a shame. I really wanted that delta V, but okay. Separation. Uh, come on. I pressed space bar, didn't do anything. You know how that is. Okay. I think I've waited a decent amount. Oh, you know what? Let me just manually decouple like this. Okay, now staging. Okay. Okay, the, the spacecraft is ready. Let's go. Not quite as much of a punch as we were gonna get with the with the NK-43, but hey, it'll get us to where we're going. Oh, let's get uh, our CS back on. Okay, complicated things are happening here. What's going on? Oh, 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 oh. Rockets that are either on or off. Okay, well, not bad. All right. <laughs> Look at that. Look at what it's doing. It's quite uh, quite funny, actually. So the actual encounter is in two days, and then periapsis will be in 19 days. Quite all right. Let's see if this actually works out. Should have known that, I mean, should have known that, of course, the one-year uh, orbital period around Kerbin would be close to the SOI. But, I mean, that's sort of the point. And I guess trying to hold uh, an orbit there would have been obviously very tricky. But anyway, you don't know until you've tried. Well, okay, you might have. If you knew the code, you probably would have. But anyway, let's, let's go for this. Nope. Oh. Oh, we're already in the... Boy, it's, it's real tricky about the... Uh, 
This, I think I'm going to subtitle this episode uh, Explorations at the Cusp of S uh, SOI or something like that. It's basically what we've been doing now. Uh, it won't let me make an orbit. A, uh, hmm. No, I'm sure MacJib has got to tell me it can't do anything. Our periapsis is a little bit low, but I'm so close to being on escape. Well, still. Mm. I just want a gentle skim. I mean, we're already pretty close to an orbit, so I don't want to bring him down too dramatically. Oh, it's not really helping me out with that goal. My periapsis keeps decreasing, even though I, yeah, I want to increase it a little bit. I think uh, 75 should be reasonably gentle. And we've got the food. Okay. Let's, uh, well, yeah, let's execute that again to make sure we've got sunlight. That changes our periapsis too much. We'll have to get closer to Earth before we try to fix that. Probably what they'd do is they'd actually have it the other way around, wouldn't they? They'd have it like that. You don't want the capsule side facing the sun. It'd be a bad situation for radiation, but the panels can turn around. Okay, here we go. Uh, are you going to stabilize anytime soon, guys? There's Earth. Are we ready? Okay, let's go. Oh darn, this is a procedural tank. It's, I wonder if it's gonna air brake properly. Maybe she just manually get into orbit. Okay. I'm gonna go in at 75. I don't know if it'll aerobrake me at all with, with this tank at the bottom. Could go nose first. Uh, I don't think we did, I don't know if we got experience much heating at 75 kilometers. Don't think so. I don't think so. We've got a lot of delta V if we want to bring in our orbit manually. We've also got plenty of supplies if you want to just go around for the whole 36 days. So far, it looks like Hardin Kerman has proved that uh, Kerbals can't stay in space for extended periods of time without any trouble. Ah, that's... so... That's what was getting me. I still had it on Sun, and that changes things, doesn't it? Okay, good, good, good. Oh, there's Mexico. Central America there. I think it would be a good idea for me to retract solar panels here. Give us six hours with of electric charge left. Hopefully that'll be alright as we pass through the atmosphere. High though, high in the atmosphere. This should not be too painful. What's our drag like? 0 0.095 is not bad. 0 0.095 is not bad. That might be enough. So we're just tightening up our orbit. We are not planning on coming down here. Otherwise we'd obviously dump the service module. Oh, we've got uh, heating. Well, let's check how things are. Moderate there. 
Uh, those don't seem to... No, there's temperature. One... Ooh, that's hot. Okay. But we shouldn't be in any pain here. Uh, solar panels? Ah, cool. And we're going up again. So that's weird. Here, the procedural tank. Oh, I know. It's because the procedural tank that was hitting the Martian atmosphere was so thin, and I think that affected its attachment node. And drag is supplied based on the attachment nodes, I think. And so, even though the diameter was very broad, the fact that the tank was so thin meant that the drag was low. This is a relatively solid cylinder, its diameter is very close to its length, and so its drag was appropriate for its size. This is my theory. Okay, alright, so, new rule. We don't have to go with heat shields if they're not necessary, but we do need to make sure that the bottom tank has has a length uh, that is approximately the same as its uh, its diameter, and I think then it'll air brake fine. Okay, so that's an interesting point. Okay, I think I should retro burn. Just I don't want to go around a whole bunch of times. Uh, it's probably negative, actually. I'm trying to keep my periapsis from going down too much. Yeah. It should be fine, hopefully. Let's get the solar panels back out. Okay, just gonna, well that's that's pretty good periapsis. I don't think there's any problem with that periapsis, except maybe it's too high. Tough to say exactly how far down we need to be. Let's make sure he's got the supplies in his... Yes, we need to... Come on. Let's drop that in, in, in. Maximize the amount of maneuvering fuel we have up there. Oh, that's why they were firing weird. It's because it ran out of N204 up there. got the wrong mix. Alright, first re-entry in this series with a Kerbal and a... When was the last time I re-entered anything in this series? Don't remember. But yeah, first time in a long time here. Should be quite a sight. Heading down to the Pacific, I think. Oh, nice view of Japan. It's a nice look at Japan right there. Okay, that's that for the solar panels, I think. Now that our consumables are pretty much topped off. I think we're oriented. No, it might be. I, I I don't know if the capsule has one of those offset mass things, which uh, help it to probably do, it does, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure which orientation I should use for that, too. 
Okay, Harden is go for service modules. Could we maybe hang on to the service module for? No, probably not. Okay, let's let's go for service module set. Make sure that we could squeeze in some more RCS up top. Let's let's stop the RCS from going here. Okay, now go for RCS set. Not RCS, service module set. Okay, now it's just us and the blade of shielding and the parachute. Okay, here we go. Atmosphere. Coming in a little bit lower than maybe I initially planned. Still don't know if this is the right orientation or not. Possibly it's door side down. It's either door side up or door side down, I think, so. How's it reading things? Oh, we've, we've got some lift and drag. Lots of drag. Lots more drag than I thought I would get. Okay, lift is good here. It's just a matter of whether we can hold orientation. Okay, yeah, we've got lift. Very nice. Wow. Okay, well, it forces us down pretty sharply if we turn off the RCS. Periapsis is pretty high now. I'm manually giving it pitch right now. Okay, I'm letting go. Don't really need far. Temperature seems... Oh, we're going up again. Okay, we skipped a little bit. That's fine. That's actually quite excellent. Back down. What does descent mode active mean? Should I have it on? What will it do? I've never tried it before, but I'm I'm worried about my Kerbals, so I don't want to try anything right now. Probably would have to try it unmanned before anything else. I don't even know what it is. Surprising amount of drag on the capsule, though, I must say. Have we even touched a blade of shielding? I don't think so. And of course, given that, I wonder if there's something wrong. Oh, well, at least we're we're going through it now. G force is building up. Four hundred degrees Celsius. About six G's. We were coming down on the velocity pretty quickly. Temperature's okay. Okay, we're going pretty slow now. Strangely slow, I would say. I mean, we're talking about this is feeling more like Venus than Earth. I think the drag is off. There's something wrong with the drag on this. That's a lot of drag. And we shouldn't be going so slow at this height. <sighs> so before using this as a spacecraft, I'm going to have to figure out what's wrong with this pod. I wouldn't think that they... I wouldn't think that this pod could possibly have anything wrong with it being that it's such a basic thing, but... Okay. Gonna find out. Certainly not opening my parachute. It's the typical parachute opening altitude is uh, still a 17,000... Not 17,000. 7,000 meters. So, figure out what's wrong with the procedural parts in terms of 
error breaking and turns out we've got a completely different problem with this pod. The opposite problem in fact. How does this happen? Well, Harden Kermit was sure lucky. It was probably going to be a rougher ride back down for him if... Uh, if not for that drag, yeah. Well, like I said, this install is crazy right now. Been upgrading it since 0.23, not surprised something went wrong. Now, of course, we haven't used this pod in ages many upgrades between the last time I used this pod and this time. Okay, parachute deployment even though we're going pretty slow right now. Alright, well I'll get back to you once we actually get closer to splashing down. Okay, last 100 meters, we're going down at 3.6 meters per second. Harden Kerman, after a 42-day journey into, inter, in, into inter, interplanetary space and back, of course, uh, briefly in orbit around the sun, about to splash down back in the Pacific Ocean. And there he is, barely poking above the surface of the water. Okay, a little bit indecisive about whether we can recover him right now. What, do I need to use RCS to stabilize? Okay, let's RCS stabilize him. Okay, maybe that's not working out very well. Okay, stop it, stop it. You don't even have torque. Well, that's probably the problem. There's like no torque in this. So it's wigging out. We can't uh, go to Space Center. If I can get to recover the vessel, I will. Lots of radio chatter between them. Come on. Let me get him back. Well, heck, um. Could. Could you EVA harden? Maybe, maybe we'll get the capsule back. So, wait, wait. Yeah, harden EVA. Okay, there's a chap. Okay, we'll get the capsule back separately. At least we got hardened back. What parts? Food, water, oxygen. Huh. So, what? We get... Oh, I guess we get value for getting his food, water, and oxygen back from his EVA suit. Okay. We, we actually got reputation. Wow. Because we haven't done any crewed missions since I upgraded to 0.24.2. This is the first reputation we've got. Wow. Okay. All right. So that's nice. Uh, we got Harden Kerman back. And so, s sort of successful mission. I mean, we were testing a hypothesis. Uh, it wasn't a particularly good hypothesis, but I mean, you know, testing it out. Uh, we also tested out a new launcher. Successful. Uh, we tested out uh, having a Kerbal in, uh, in space for a very long period of time. 42 days. Fairly long for this save. So, yes, that's successful. And we can look forward to bigger and brighter things. And so I'll try and cook something up. Maybe testing a Mars mission on the moon first would be advisable. Though we've sort of done the moon already. I don't know. We'll see. All right. So, uh, but with that, uh, we've got lots of things brewing here. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.